Well, there's our park up for the night. It's right outside a sporting and camping shop. It's a free park up. So there are facilities provided on this free air at the camping shop. So as you can see there's a drive over grey water drop, there's bins, there's also a chemical toilet disposal point and fresh water fill up. And the parking bays are extremely large. I mean we're seven and a half metres and as you can see there's quite a lot of space at the front so eight and a half meter van nine meter van well as you can see it's an absolutely massive store they sell everything and anything and also uh, upstairs is a Irwinheimer dealership and they do have motorhomes parked up on the roof for you to go and view So you come in the entrance here and you make your way round the back of the store. So round the back of the store you have the free air and as you can see we're over there. We were joined by quite a few last night. Um, we had a decent night's sleep, proximity to the road as you can see but it seemed to quieten down about nine ten o'clock and we had a decent enough sleep but there's a, a fair few spaces for a fair few motorhomes so hello welcome back to the channel you catch us today in St Marco Square in Venice so we travelled from um, our last stop over to here, it was about three and a half hours drive and we pulled into a campsite about 15 minutes away from the centre of Venice. We got a day pass, 24 hour pass for all the public transport from the campsite which was 20 euros. That allows us on all the trams, the buses and the water taxis. Um, all around Venice it lasts for 24 hours so we got a water taxi here and it was just one stop on the water taxi straight into the heart of Venice right by the train station um, we'll show you the bridge that was um, constructed but Venice um, celebrated its 1600 birthday last year that's amazing and the church behind us that you can see is 1400 years old. That's just absolutely crazy. It looks like it was built a couple of years ago. It's pristine. Let's show you around Venice. So the main train station is over this bridge. The bridge was designed by a Spanish architect, but one of the locals have just told us there's a lot of claims been put in for people slipping on it and I can see why that is absolutely steep
even in Venice she's looking at shiny things. Well, welcome to St. Marco Square. There's loads of little brick and back shops. It's a lovely day, but it's a little bit too busy for my liking here. So we was recommended an app to get called Chabatio. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But I'll try and put a link to it um, down below. But basically you put your um, departure and destination into it and it shows you what water taxi to get and how long it's going to take and when it arrives. So if you come into Venice and you want to visit all the little islands, and there are lots and lots of little islands, I do recommend getting the app. So, fun little fact for you, well, we're sat in this lovely Italian restaurant in the middle of Venice. Venice was actually constructed from marshland. So the early Venetians, first of all, had to drain a lot of the lagoon in preparation for habitation. They then dug out the canals and to shore up the canals they drove closely spaced stakes into the ground mainly using elder wood which is water resistant. Surrounded that by sand and then a layer of stone on top of that ready for building. So because Venice was uh, originally marshland, it wasn't a forested area, they had to import the wood from somewhere and it actually came from Montenegro and Slovenia. Well why hasn't the wood stakes rotted away, you might ask? That's a good question. Well that's because it was originally marshland and it's very little oxygen and because it's also salt water, over time it has actually turned the wood to virtual stone. You probably can't come to Italy without a Ferrari shop. Oh. Oh. 
found this fantastic little campsite that's ideally situated for access to Venice. The tram line is down a cycle path that runs for 42 kilometers so again if you want to cycle it's a great place. It goes through a little park area near the site and it's accessed through a gate through this car park here. The site's 18 euros per night with um, basic facilities. So there is a um, fresh water fill up point, grey water waste and toilet cassette dumping facility. So this is your uh, motorhome or camper service point. So as you can see you've got toilet cassette uh, emptying, your fresh water and your grey water waste which is a drive over to drive in sort your van out and drive straight out the site is fantastic the reception staff were brilliant they told us the wheelchair accessible routes to get to and around Venice you can purchase a pass for the trams. It's 20 euros for the pass, but that does allow you on all the trams, all the buses and the water buses or taxis to hop on and hop off all day long. But yeah, absolutely great site. Lots of combinations of different vans, motorhomes, there's even an overlander there, campers, we had a few vans around us but they left this morning and we're also going to move on. So if you like the vlog guys don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment and we'll catch you on the next one.